Okay, so what we're going to be looking at today is pose to pose animation, which is a really powerful way to just do poses and have Max do the in betweens for you. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to do like a simple pose here. And then um, <clears throat> we can go from there. So, I'll just do this pose right here. So, I've already hit play. Uh, I'm going to select his pelvis. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on save pose. And I'm going to choose save the whole rig. And I would like to name this one um, Standing Idle. I'm just going to put them on my desktop for right now. And I'll hit OK. All right. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move his hands a little bit. So we'll get a different pose here. So we'll just have this pose with his left arm slightly raised. So then I'll just save this one. So I'll left click his pelvis, right click, save pose, and we'll call this left hand raised. Save whole rig, whoops. Okay. Left hand raised. I'm gonna go ahead and save that to my desktop as well. Make sure it's there. Save it. So now we have it. So now I can go ahead and hit OK. All right. So now how does it come to animation when we're doing this? Well, what's really cool is I can just turn on auto key. And I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to say load pose. And I'm going to load standing idle. OK, so that's going to do that. And then I'll go to frame four. And now I'll right click, load pose, left hand raised, hit OK. And it automatically did the in-between for me. So all I had to do is make the poses. And that's it. And so you can do that with as many poses as you want. So uh, you can do 15 poses, 30 poses, 100 poses, however many poses you want. Um, you do that, and you just load them on the timeline where you need them, and Max will do uh, its best to try to tween in between them. You may have to go in and add keyframes and stuff like that, but for the most part, uh, it works pretty pretty well and it's really, really fast to do. So I hope uh, you liked it.